Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, I will show you one of the most popular and powerful attack strategy. TH11 Blizzard Dragon. It is one of the best TH11 attack strategy in the game. Even at the higher town hall levels. I will tell you everything about this strategy in this video. So keep watching till the end to master the strategy. Let's start with the troop composition. This is the general army composition. You can make minor changes according to the base. Take a look at this base. The main threats to the dragons are eagle, queen, multi-infernos and air defenses. So we have to take down most of them with the blimp and heroes. We will drop the blimp here. And the super wizards will clear all these things. They might even get the CC down too. After that, we will funnel the heroes to this multi-inferno using baby dragon and sneaky goblins. With the tanking of ice golem, they will go all the way to the town hall. That will leave us with this narrow path for dragons. We will zap out this back end air defense. And use an electro dragon to take down all this trash and push the dragons to the core. Most of the damage is at the back side. So we will use the warden ability with rage spell at the back end of the base. You understood the plan? Now let's execute it. Alright, the raid starts with deploying the blimp. I used a Lava Hound in front to tank all the defenses and trigger the traps. So the blimp can reach safely at the target location. Remember to manually open the blimp and drop the invisibility right after it. Then use a rage spell and drop remaining invisibility spells one by one every four seconds. Don't let those defenses take a single shot on the super wizards or the attack is done. You need quick hands for this. Drop the invisibilities in such a way that it will expose the target defenses while always covering the wizards. All our targets are down now. The super wizards even took down the enemy CC troops. We can start the second phase now. With all the damage removed from the core, heroes will get so much value and will survive much longer. We don't have to wait until they finish their work. Just make sure the funnel is solid and let them do their thing. We can zap the air defense as we planned. Notice how I damage that inferno with earthquake spell. The electro dragon is out now. With no damage on it. The electro will clear all the trash from outside. Look at the path we just created for the dragons. We can start the dragons now. They are absolutely beasts when deployed in narrow path like this. Balloons will tank and search for the traps ahead of dragons to protect them. Warden ability with the rage spell as we planned. Even the queen is still moving. With all this dragon still surviving, there is nothing left on the base to stop them. So we can swag the remaining freeze now. Easy day. Here on this one, there is a lot of blizzard value in this compartment. All the major threats are placed all around the base. So what we will do is, land our blimp in this channel. The wizards will take all these things down along with eagle and queen. They might not lure the CC in this one. After that, the heroes will walk this way and take down this inferno and air defense. We will zap this air defense along with the sweeper. In case the wizards don't take it down. That will create this narrow straight path for the dragons. They will move like this. Electro dragon will be used to keep them centered. Early Warden ability with Rage spell will carry them through the multi-inferno. With the help of Poison spell, they will easily take down the CC. They will swoop in the back end afterwards and finish on the town hall. Simple plan. Now let's see how it works. Let's start with deploying the blimp. I only used couple of loons to protect the blimp in this one. As we are not going very deep inside the base. So no need of Lava Hound here. The Super Wizards are out now. I also brought couple of wall breakers with them as well. Under the rage spell, they will open the walls and trigger the traps too. Due to that, wizards can move outside of the compartment. So it's better to use them in the blimp instead of the barbarians. 
This is the reason how we took down the CC in last attack. Watch that part again if you have missed it. I saved one invisibility here as we already got all our targets down. So we can use it later for the heroes. Alright, we can start the heroes now. Notice how I used baby dragons here to funnel our heroes to the multi-inferno. Zap that air defense as we planned. Dragons are out now. Electro dragon to keep them centered. The dragons will wreck the base when deployed on such narrow path. The CC is never an issue with this strategy. Like this one, dragons can take down any CC on their own. The heroes did their job perfectly. And now there is nothing left on the base to stop these flying beasts. Up next, I will show you the versatility of this strategy. So don't click away now. On this base, there is only one multi. The dragons can easily handle the single here, so we don't have to worry about it. I am mixing things up by going with safe blimp approach in this one. We will land it here instead of the eagle compartment. Wizards will clear all these things including the enemy CC. The heroes will take down these compartments. Out of them, air defense, eagle, and the queen are our main targets. We will zap out this air defense with archer tower in this one. That will leave us with these narrow path for the dragons. They will move like this. Electro will be used to funnel them. Warden ability will be used when damage on our troops is maximum. That's the plan. Now let's make it work. Alright, let's start with the blizzard part. Which is the most important phase of this attack. By now you might get to know that in the first phase, you have to take down one quadrant of the base, including at least two or three key defenses with Blizzard. In the second phase, heroes will take down another quadrant with one or two key defenses. That will leave half of the base with remaining key defenses for the dragons. They will fly right through it, as most of the damage is already removed in first two phases. On some bases, you can even swap the blizzard with hero dive, like we did here. Blizzard is the most important part. Once you get that right, the attack gets easier afterwards. I recommend you to practice. And master the invisibility spells through friendly challenges. At the start of the video, I said it is one of the best TH11 attack strategy. Because it's really overpowered at TH11. Unlike the Electro Dragons. The regular dragons will work great on open bases as well as compact bases. And it is much easier to funnel them. I recommend you to watch this video from the channel. To learn all dragon attacks of Town Hall 11 after finishing this one. There is a lot of blizzard value in the core compartment of this base so we will go for it with the blimp. Super wizards will take down all these things including the CC. That will leave us with this ring-shaped base afterwards. We will funnel our heroes to go after the single, the air defense. Then move this way afterwards. They will cut the ring and create this perfect path for the dragons. We will zap this back end air defense in this one. The dragons will cruise through this narrow path. We will use an Electro to keep them centered. Warden ability will be used early with the Rage spell to get through single. And the air defense. Simple plan. Now let's execute it. The raid starts with deploying the Lava Hound to protect our blimp. Whenever you drop the blimp in high damage area, always deploy the Lava in front to make sure it reaches the target location. Blimp. Invisibility. Rage remaining invisibility in that order like i said earlier notice my invisibility placements here i am shuffling them to make sure they get everything down in that compartment i hope you understood how the invisibility spells work by now all right we can start the heroes now they will go get this inferno compartment and also break the ring of defenses that forces the dragons to follow the predetermined path and not go outside of the base now, the only times this strategy don't work is when you completely mess up and fail the blizzard part. 
and when you get very less values with Heroes and Blizzard. That will leave the Dragons with so many key defenses to deal with. Especially both sweepers and air defenses. They will fall short in such cases. Other than that, it will crush any TH11 base with proper planning and execution. I recommend you to practice the blimp drop in friendly challenges. Then perform this strategy in wars and CWL. So this is the TH11 Blizzard Dragon Attack Strategy Tutorial for you. I hope you enjoyed and learned the strategy throughout. Consider subscribing for more strategy guide videos. And don't forget to check out the TH11 playlist for other strategy guides.